Could Drew Holiday be on the move this offseason? That is the latest report coming from Sham Sharania of The Athletic is that the Pelicans are officially beginning to take trade calls on the 30-year-old veteran point guard. And one of the main reasons for this isn't that the Pelicans want to get rid of him. It's more so that Drew Holiday is ready to win now, and he feel like feels like he has served that city well enough. But he doesn't want to be a part of this rebuild to watch Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson really take over the reins in New Orleans. So he wants to go to a contender, and lucky for him, contenders are beginning to show interest. Now, everybody knows Drew Holiday is one of the best defensive guards in today's NBA, maybe behind guys like Marcus Smart, but he also puts up big-time numbers on the offensive end. 20 points per game, about 5 rebounds and 7 assists. He's also become a very efficient 3-point shooter at 35.3%, so you can guarantee that they are there are contenders already beginning to call about the Pelicans point guard or shooting guard, whatever you want to look at him as. So let me ask you this question. With that idea in mind that it's going to be a contender that probably trades for Drew Holiday, which team do you think should make a move for him? Let me know in the comment section. I'm going to make this the pinned comment on today's video, so all you guys have to do is scroll on down and respond and tell me who should trade for Drew Holiday. Could the Warriors be the team to trade for Drew Holiday this offseason? Listen, they've already begun to show interest. They showed interest in him back in September when the offseason was really beginning to get going for them. And if this happens, they would obviously have to move to a three-guard lineup, including Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, along with Drew Holiday. And we all know Holiday defensively is so good that it would make up for Steph Curry's lack of defensive effort just being the undersized point guard that he is. So I came up with my best trade idea to get Drew Holiday on the Golden State Warriors, and this is what I came up with. Drew Holiday and the number 13 and number 48 overall pick go to the Golden State Warriors in exchange for Andrew Wiggins and his giant contract and the second pick in the draft. So in this deal, the Warriors still stay in the lottery at 13, they also get a second rounder back. Meanwhile, the Pelicans move up in the draft to take a star level player, and they also take a wing that can grow with their young team in Andrew Wiggins. Now, if you want to keep up with all things Warriors all offseason long, including some more hypothetical trades, some crazy draft scenarios, and much, much more, you're going to want to make sure you subscribe to our Warriors only channel. If you're not already, I don't know what you're doing, but the link, it's right here youtube.com slash Warriors TV. We're about 5,000 subscribers now, and I want to keep that going all offseason. Let's look at this new starting five in Golden State if this were to happen. All of a sudden, they get Steph and Drew in the backcourt, and then you can play plug and play Klay Thompson at the three. You probably keep Draymond Green at the four. Obviously, this limits your ability to draft a big man because at the end of the lottery, there's not going to be guys like Anyeka Okongwu or James Wiseman available. So instead, you up your bench a little bit, and you take a guy like Sadiq Bey at 13 overall. Meanwhile, the Pelicans... They get another ball brother at number two. They take LaMelo Ball, put him in the same backcourt as Lonzo Ball. They also get to start Andrew Wiggins alongside Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson in the middle. Plus, come on. I mean, who wouldn't want to watch the Ball brothers get back together to do what they did in their Chino Hills days? Now, the one question mark I have for the Pelicans here is how much unproven talent are they really willing to take on with guys like Lonzo, LaMelo, Wiggins, even to some degree Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson? It's a bit of a question mark, but I think this trade package that the Golden State Warriors have to offer is one of the best in the league if they really want Drew Holiday. But who do you think says no? Do you think the Warriors are like, ah, it's a little bit too much to give up. I don't want to give up the number two pick. Or do you think the Pelicans are like, listen, moving a lottery pick plus a second round pick, pick plus Drew Holiday? I don't want to do that, and I also don't want to take on Wiggins' contract. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you think the Warriors say no, type GSW. If you think the Pelicans say no, type NOP.